This is going to be the sixth chapter, and it's going to be a chapter and extrapolation on culture, and specifically the culture of what I've now introduced as the scramble, showing the Venus Project on top. So I used some of my own techniques, and I folded underneath the, the new concept. Now, some people may be more comfortable using the word Venus Project, the Venus Project culture, um, and working with that, that name. Now, here's what I want to do. Like I said, I want to develop the chemistry within the culture of the Venus Project, but we want to begin to use our lives as reflections of how we really think we really feel and live each day to do as we think should be done because we are the the ones who are really here in life you'll you'll miss the the moment if you um say maybe maybe someday. The culture of the Venus Project is all the people right now who are signed up on the Venus Project uh, community page and the people who are in the, the groups. And as you begin to go into these groups, take some of these ideas of, of the scramble and begin to play with them to the extent that you are comfortable with it. Now, the way I I'm I'm going to do a a focus wheel on the subject of the Venus Project culture how I see them. I see them as the most innovative team on the planet. I see them as the most higher order thinking on the planet. I see them as the most capable to solve all of life's problems. I see them as the most solution-oriented people on the planet. I see them as the most... Just by be seeing this video and being a part of a Venus Project, I'm, I'm giving my great appreciation and compliment to you for finding this. The same God who led me here led you here as well. This is the concept of law of attraction and how synchronicity is used. Because if you are close enough to the point of meeting Jack Fresco, you're close enough to meeting me with going forward with the scramble and Project Neptune. Now, nothing really changed. Everything is as it was. Now you have some new words to begin to um, approach your family. What I really want, and friends, and what I really want to do is get the Venus Project people working together to form projects with each other and having projects through through the scramble and having people begin to find each other and find some of these and we can begin to work together as a legion of people and work slow and begin to figure out where our our um our cream of the crop is in the leading subjects and also train the rest of the Venus Project people on some of these things that if we knew, we could take to our life and we can begin to work together. Now, I'm going to digress using the idea of six degrees of separation. This is the idea that everybody knows everybody um, to um, six connections. You're six connections away from knowing anybody in the world. And what a great tool this is now to draw the lines through the the scramble 
to connect those people in whatever sense and whatever fashion that they want to work. So what I, I'm saying here is anything you want, any purpose in your life that you have, you have all 7 billion people at your disposal. You really have all the resources in the world through this program and through being able to mobilize and begin to make this idea vicarious within other people. I understand the idea it's hard to approach people at bad timings and what you're what you're going to do is you're, you're going to develop a sense of timing as you develop your own concept of ascension and you begin to work within the, the scramble um, here to bring about new projects and bring about new beginnings. It, it is my belief that no one has to starve in the world, that everybody should have the highest standing standard of living, that any posterity that comes into this world will be taken care of, their basic life necessities will not be subject to capitalism. There will be an untouchable layer that e each person is allowed to have and maintain. And as, as we begin to, to work where we can work, and as we begin to take an idea, this is the conversation now when we can talk about the scramble of all 7 billion people in the world at our disposal through six degrees of separation, we can begin to know the power of an idea. Victor Hugo said, and I, I heard this a long time ago, but this is perhaps the most powerful point of meeting of, of these words, an idea is stronger than any army. And here it is. We really can begin to take this idea any idea that you have, and we can organize the idea itself. The Scramble really is an organization of people. It's also an organization of ideas, which is resources, which is a sequence of appropriation. So really, the idea is the world is already perfect, and we know now how it works and we can begin to work our way into innovations. My Andrew innovation of the scramble, you may have a, an idea as big as the scramble within you, and you've never given it the legs. You've never you, let point of uh, let law of attraction take it and show you exactly what what you have underneath you what what's under the hood what horses what horsepower you have with it because you've never seen the right angle to go at it and so i, I want all all of the venus project to begin um, to focus on the ways that they want to focus and find points of resonance with people who focus in in similar ways. So now the streams of the Venus Project are going to be um, moving along, and then each stream then is going to be six degrees of separation from any person in the world. So anybody who's alive right now, we have access to. We have we really profoundly now are at the threshold where the Venus Project is going to be become the new normal. The Jetson Society is going to be the, the now society. There is so much movement in this, this book, in, in my idea of just having this book and what people are ready for right now with the Venus Project and what our approach can be to some of life's biggest questions. We can begin to approach life's biggest questions, and in the paradox 
of those questions is life's biggest and most encompassing consequence of global answers. So that is going to be the chapter on culture. And that is chapter 6.